Hello everyone, and welcome back to Classic Challenge. So, we're pretty much where we left off. We've got £5,020 in the bank. Got some mucky equipment. I actually forgot to look for the... Ooh. <laughs> the controller decided to go off again. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got mucky equipment because I forgot to look for the hose pipe mod. Uh, I will do that soon. So we can get some of this equipment cleaned up and looking good. But jobs for today. We have the oats to harvest. Now we got the... Oh, what did we plant here? Was it barley? Can't even remember. Let's have a quick look. Oop, wrong button. Quick look. Yeah, barley. So we planted barley in this field. And we've got the oats ready to harvest in the field just over there. So let's get the major... What's a major... I would have fired up. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get my words together today. And let's hook it up. There we go. Now, I'm not expecting too much out of the oak crop. Because it is, uh, like again, unfertilized, un um, limed. It's not had much attention to it. The only thing that this one benefits more from than that one did is it is ploughed. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more profit out of it than we did out of the soybeans. But I wouldn't hold too much hope out on that. But we're sitting alright with money. You know, 5,000 is pretty good. Um, but that was mainly thanks to the firewood. Firewood did us uh, okay, really. It was a nice, decent profit. <laughs> harvested so we didn't get as much out of that as we did out of the uh, soybeans when we did them uh, we only got 1200 litres out of these we got 1700 out of the soybeans obviously the field is smaller quite a bit smaller the field we've just done so I suppose it's kind of to be expected that we're not going to get as much as we would out of that but you do get more per acre out of oats than you do out of soybeans, so I don't know. It's money. It's an untreated crop. Hopefully, it'll do better next time because we want to try and get fertilised this time. That is sort of the aim of the game. It's 
to get everything fertilised as soon as possible this time. So let's just get this unloaded. Hopefully it reaches. Yep, just about. Flip forward a bit. Oh, now it don't reach. <laughs> Whoops. Pressing my tractors up. Try that again. There we go. Right, it's going in. So what we'll do is we will... Let's think how we're going to do this now. Looks like we're going to have to make two trips to the shop because we're going to have to take the grain and then I want to buy a fertilizer, well if I can afford it, fertilizer spreader and some fertilizer. So, yeah, looks like we're going to have to do a double trip to the shop, doesn't it? Anyway, let's put the combine away. Get it all stored away and then we can deal with that. So let's pop this back in here where it belongs. Put it back in its little home. Whoop. Sorry about that guys. My I don't know why my controller keeps losing connection and <laughs> just deciding to switch itself off. Not understanding why that keeps happening. Just seems to like doing it to me. <laughs> it's rather annoying. But anyway, that's that done. We will leave the Fordson there and we will take the Ferguson. I know the Ferguson is a little bit slower, but I've already connected up. And we also need the front loader to bring the fertilizer back. So we'll go get the oats sold, uh, get what we can from. I don't know why I couldn't disable the swathing on harvester to prevent that from happening um, so what we'll have to do is we'll just have to try and plow uh, cultivate that back into the land just gonna be it is what it is I don't know why it won't let me disable it um, I'll have to have a look at it and see uh, if there is actually an option to disable swathing we'll head up to the shop we'll get the oats sold and then we're gonna buy well potentially buy a fertilizer spreader and once we've bought the fertilizer spreader we can buy the fertiliser and get it all fertilised and hopefully get a bit more productivity out of the fields. But that is wishful thinking. <laughs> we'll see what happens. oats dropped into the pit see what we get from I'm not expecting too much probably about a thousand pounds um maybe a little less <laughs> we'll see let's find out let's get them all dropped in here seven hundred and six so not fantastic it is a little bit low but it is what it is like I said completely untreated crop the only thing that had a benefit to it was it was on a ploughed field, is what it is. But anyway, let's get what we want today. So we're after, where is, there we go, fertiliser technology. Go right to the end. We have these two really small fertiliser spreaders. So we've got this one. I'm not too sure which would be the best one, to be fair. Both older ones. I think this is more aimed at something like, um, oh, what do you want to call them? A compact tractor, something like that. Um, I struggle finding a vintage or old one. that There wasn't really much about in the way of vintage or old <laughs> fertilizer spreaders. But these sort of kind of fit the bill. We've got that one. Um, it does, to old 1,400 litres, does lime as well. It doesn't say how far it covers. Whereas this one only holds 280 litres, does both lime and fertiliser, but covers a 7 metre radius. And to be honest, I think this one looks a bit more vintage. 
or homemade, <laughs> one or the other. So I think we will go with this one. Um, it's like I said, it's not much difference. It's a lot cheaper, so we won't have to spend as much because three thousand five hundred for a little trail along. I do think that is a more modern one for a compact tractor, to be fair. So I think we will go for the one for five fifty, um, the older one. So we will buy that. Not too minded about the colour, and then we also need some fertilizer. So let's just have a look. So we can go for. Uh, so let's have a look. Right, so we've got this fertilizer palette for 2,000 litres, it's 3,200. And then 2,400 for 2,5. Hmm. Do you honestly think that that one would be better value for money on these ones? Let's have a look at the big bags, because the big bags may be more in our price range. 1,900 for 1,000 litres. Hmm. Oh, we can buy the normal bags. Uh, I know it's not as much. Oh, this is a difficult decision. I'm debating whether the tractor's going to be able to lift a pallet of fertiliser. That's pretty much, a hundred, what, a hundred, just over a hundred pounds per hundred litres. I don't know if the tractor will pick it up, though. Let's go with the big bag. I, don't, I honestly don't think the tractor's going to lift that, that pallet. So, let's buy one of these. We just want the one. And hopefully it will do what we need it to do. So what we'll do is we will pick it up and we will take that back with us. And then we'll come back with the Ferguson to pick up the actual spreader. Because uh, the Ferguson is a little bit faster than this is. Don't do that to me. I hate you when these pallets slide like that. <laughs> yeah, because see, even this big bag is heavy on the tractor. It lifted it up on the back end then as I lifted it up. So, I think we actually made a wise decision there. If we got the pallet, I don't think it would have lifted it. I do honestly think it would have uh, struggled to get it off the ground. But, anyway, let's get this back. We'll pick up the Ferguson and we'll come back and get the spreader. spreader and now we can at least get our crops fertilized what we'll do is we're going to drop this off just at the end of here and i think we'll switch it over onto the ferguson i do feel like the ferguson will be a better tractor for using this little spreader 
It's not as big as the Fordson is. So if we just drop that there. Pack the Fordson back in its normal place. And there we go. Leave that there. Right, so let's get the Ferguson. I think the Ferguson will be better for it. Detach the trailer. At least this tractor will actually get a bit of use then as well because we've uh, since we've had it, we've not used it all too much yet. And then we've only had it for what did we get it in the last episode or the one before that? I can't remember. But time we uh, give it a bit of field work. We want to use all of our tractors as much as we can. Okay, so let's get this filled up. This is a, uh, it's got keen brakes, this Ferguson, it stops instantly. <laughs> right, so 280 litres of fertiliser, early fertiliser that is. Well, let's just get out of here. The boom on the uh, front loader does make it a little bit difficult to turn around in here. It apparently has about a 7 metre working width, which I'm hazarding a guess. It's going to be around this point. Ish. We'll find out once we set it off. Uh, you need to unfold it. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, that was a rough... Not a bad guess, to be fair. <laughs> that wasn't a bad guess. But we'll go back and forward with it now. And we'll get all fertilised. And hopefully we'll get a better yield out of these crops next time. Because uh, the last yield was pretty poor. But we do still need to get some lime on these fields as well because the uh, liming hasn't been done yet. Still needs doing. Now, here's a question. Is it me or is that not changing as if it's not fertilising? I can't quite tell, to be fair. We'll have a look on the minimap in a minute. Uh, well, on the big map, should I say, not the mini map. Because to me, that doesn't look like it's actually fertilising. Any difference in colour, or is it just me? Let's have a look. So. It's got weeds. Turn that off. It needs lime. Oh, yes, it's fertilising it. It is doing it. I just can't see it. I must be blind. <laughs> I just cannot see any difference in the uh, texturing. To say that it's definitely been fertilised. But anyway, let's crack on. And that's the field fertilised. So that should give us a lot more productivity now. It should be so much better than it was before. Just need to get rid of these weeds. Anyway, before we do anything else, I am just going to take a quick cheeky screenshot and this will be like a nice thumbnail. Well done. Lovely. Right. So let's get this back in the shed. It is done with for now because we're not going to need it until we come to fertilize that crop and then put in another application on this one but we really do need to deal with them weeds so we're going to have a look in the shop in a second and look at a weeder we may not get it today but we will have a look i did find one but obviously i'm not 100 percent certain what it's going to cost us but we'll take a quick look in a second we'll just put this i think it can live next to the fertilizer itself I think it'll be quite happy there. Back it in there like that. 
And there we go. Happy chappy. Okay. So. Shop. Let's have a look. Like I said, I did find a weeder. Where are they? Am I missing? Oh, there we are. <laughs> I was going to say, I couldn't see it then. Right, so I did find this little weeder here. It's a lizard one, so it's not um, a branded one or anything like that, but it's an old-fashioned styled weeder. That's well, quite nice. Nothing too big. It's only 1.8 metres, so it's not even, I don't think it's even as wide as a tractor. But it could do the job quite nicely. The only downside is it's a thousand pounds. It is quite a, oh well that says eight hundred there, and then that says a thousand. Why is it charging us more for the colour? Why is it charging us for the colour? That is strange. Really, one of these colours is. Uh, Three. What colour is it on the picture? It's like a reddish colour, isn't it? So, is it one of these? Hmm. Unusual. That is very unusual. Well, seeing though we're being charged for the colour, we might as well pick a colour when we come to buy it. But, uh, but saying that, should we do the weeding now? Because then, obviously, if the crops grow, we're not going to be able to remove them like this. We're going to have to spray them when we haven't got a sprayer. Yes, I think we'll... We'll go for a blue one, and it matches the Fordson then. I think we'll buy it now, and we'll go and get it. Cost us £1,000. It leaves us two, two, ten. 2210 We'll just leave the Ferguson here. We'll take the Fordson because it's quicker. And we'll run up to the shop and we'll pick up the new weeder. Because if they get into the next growth stage, we are not going to be able to remove them. Which is not going to be very good. And we really do not want weeds in our field. If we can help it, we want to get this productivity as high as possible on these fields. So that we can actually make some money from our crops. Because... Don't get me wrong, the firewood was really good money. Ooh, and a bit of a stutter then. Uh, the firewood was really good money. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like if we do the firewood a little bit too much, we're just going to end up having loads of money. And the challenge will be kind of pointless. You get what I mean? I know we're still using the old stuff and the vintage stuff and all that kind of thing. And the money we're getting is the money we're getting. But, obviously, I want to try and even out the field, should we say. But anyway, let's go pick up our video. So we are back with the weeder, and we'll stop and take a quick look at it in a second, once I get to the field. There we go. Just turn the engine off for a second. And that is our little weeder. Like I said, it's an old fashioned style one. It's not a branded one, but I think it will do the job quite nicely. Obviously it is designed for a proper three point hitch. And uh, this tractor does not have a three-point hitch, unfortunately. But I couldn't find a vintage or classic one again. There's just a few items that I'm really struggling uh, finding classical and vintage items for. But, like I said, we, are, we can use anything up to 1999. So, it'll do. But let's lower this down. And hopefully this should remove our weed problem. And we should be able to get... A really good productive crop out of this now it is going to take a little while because this is literally as wide as the tractor so it's uh, not going to be a really quick pro process should we say but it'll get the job done
There we go. And that is the weeds banished. And I think the field is looking rather good. We should get a really decent crop out of that now. Especially if we can get the second application of fertilizer on in its next growth stage. Uh, then that field will be pretty darn good. It'll just be missing its lime, unfortunately. But maybe that's something else for the future. Next time, we will look at getting this field turned around again. Get it sorted. And um, I will try and figure out what's going on with that swathing on the, on the harvester. But hopefully we can. Uh, there is a function to turn it on and off. And I just couldn't find it. But we'll get that field turned around. And then I want to be looking at creating new fields up that area past the trees because obviously we own all the land past them trees as well currently we're just working these two fields so we want to make some new fields just up there they're not going to be big ones but they'll be reasonable size and we'll look at making some of them in the next episode but anyway it is getting dark it's getting rather late and i think it is time for me to go to bed <laughs> no, i'm joking anyway Nope, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you again very soon. And bye for now.